Welcome back, and in this episode, I'm planking the hull with Polonia Timber. Here's the timber at home after five hours of driving, hardly moved at all, and didn't really notice it a lot behind me because it's so light. And here it is in shed, stacked and ready to go. So easy to move, it was so light. This is my third mitering tool. It works the best out of using the tabletop saw or the band saw. It gives a nice flat clean cut. And this is the joins, how I'm joining them now. I used to put a screw through the joint, but this works just as good, probably easier. For the scarf joints, I found the surf form better than using a plane. Um, a hand plane because um, it tends to fur up a little bit on the blade of the plane um, which can be quite frustrating so the surf form works really good Well, some of the lessons I've learned so far, to be honest, I should have created more frames, more temporary frames, especially if I'm going to use 12mm, as I've done on this side and started to get a bit concerned about. It was just too flexible, it wasn't really self-aligning and it could have ended up with some real humps in the hull. Um, framing should have been probably 500 apart like these three frames these three stations are um, and it's a bit hard to go back on that so what I decided to do was go for the same thickness on the top side as will be on the bottom um, I can use a lot of the thinner stuff I've already machined um, for other things inside the boat, like bunk tops. But it looks like the 17mm will be the way to go. It'll make the boat a little bit heavier, but certainly it'll make the hull a lot stiffer. And because I want this to be a coastal boat, not just a harbour boat, it'll be some peace of mind and I can probably go down a notch on the outside skin and get the same strength. Um, it's staying fairly fair and um, I'm not sure if I'll go to 90 width planks as I have done here or go to 45 width and not have to fight them so hard. The boat is coming along. I'm getting two strips per side done per day, one in the morning. Let the glue go off and in the afternoon but still a bit of a way to go to get to the waterline but we're getting there it's working out to be fairly fair since I added these extra um, setup frames they're not a full frame um, in between the meter spacing
getting ready for the last plank to go on the top sides and um, this is a great thing I learned off YouTube to use plastic bags for the glue which allows you to make a really nice bead Some might wonder why there's a step in my temporary frames here. Well, it's because I've up spec the planking a bit. Um, I was going to use 12 millimeter on the bottom. It's now 20 millimeter, and this will make the boat a lot stiffer. And um, so that's what I've done. I've added about 150 kgs by um, lifting up all the frames a little bit. Like a Sharpie, it's still a pretty flat bottom boat, but um, plus it gives a little bit more headroom. I might not be rubbing my head on the cabin ceiling all the time, but um, lifting it up, I think, was a really good decision. Um, seems to be working out. This planking in the bow is a little bit tortured. And there's my torture devices. Um, yeah. Really enjoying the build. It's going quite well. Well, <clears throat> I'm getting close to the whiskey plank, which traditionally is the um, last plank that goes on the bottom of the boat before it gets turned over. And um, might have a little party to celebrate that. We've had some terrible rain and um, got a bit of a problem with the shed leaking, so there's always other jobs to do. Well, I'm about three days away from finishing the bottom planking um, it's going quite well once again I'm learning things um, but there's nothing that I'm worried about um, when I'm putting these bottom planks on I mix up two squirts for one side, use the leftover scraping off to make up roughly one and a half squirts for the other side and then when I clean up scrape off the excess glue um, it's good to have something ready to use it for and usually it's the um, next day's planking which is shown here and um, this method is going really well um, I put little lines to get the um, engagement of the scarf correct and lock the planks so they can't slide 
when I squeeze down with my little rudimentary clamps. Yeah, it's great to be um, nearly finished the bottom. So the whiskey plank's on. That um, feels like quite an achievement. And um, I've been doing a little bit of fairing on the other side and trimming. And um, I bought a radius plane or a compass plane, a Stanley 113 for curved surfaces, which um, should help a lot with the timber fairing before I do the glassing. So that should arrive in a day or two, and um, it'll really help with taking off the high points and not taking off the low points. And um, cut down on the time. It's proving quite easy to fair up, just time consuming. Um, I spent about nearly a day yesterday and um, did about a third of the top side on the other side with an ordinary plane and a little bit of sanding. Um, but I'm going to get a better result for sure with the compass plane. Anyway, it's time to trim up the um, this side and um, I'll get stuck into it. Ah, there's a couple of things I've learnt, um, big time, and I had a feeling um, by watching YouTube channels and my own experience that um, I probably shouldn't be using leftover glue um, to fair up the hull um, or fill the cracks or screw holes. Um, because it's so much harder than the Polonia in this situation, that tools tend to ride, especially sandpaper, rides over the glue and takes out more timber than you'd like. So planing is a good way of um, countering that. Um, it can't ride over the glue. If the plane's nice and sharp, it'll take off the extra glue without taking off too much timber. But it's been quite a lesson and, I'll, and to fill the remainder of the holes, I'll be using um, a much softer bearing compound to um, do that which will have a similar resistance to sanding than the timber does and that should make it a lot easier but that was quite a lesson and um, quite counterproductive you think you're using up glue but it's um, it's not a great idea in this situation Maybe I had you worried there. There's a place for a bit of um, coarse grit um, standing um, in some of these projects. It's not really proper traditional boat building, but this ain't a proper traditional boat. So, yep, there's going to be a lot of planing from this point on. And um, yeah, hopefully it doesn't kill me, but makes me stronger. I like this plane. It was my dad's. It's pretty much the only one I've got till the um, compass plane arrives. But it's a good one, good quality. Had some repairs. But whenever I use it, it makes helps me to think of my dad.